for the UK AADC, as previously mentioned, it is the foundation for the California ADCA. So unsurprisingly, the two are very similar and not just in name. Uh, for example, it, the UK ADC also applies to services that are likely accessed by children, and children are also defined as individuals under the age of 18. The UK version of the Children's Code has been in force since September 2nd, 2020, and required businesses to be in compliance within a year of the effective date. The UK AADC sets out 15 standards, the first of which being the best interest of the child should be the primary consideration when designing and developing services. And other notable standards include the need to undertake DPIAs, transparency, default settings, data minimization, profiling, nudge techniques, and a couple more that I can't remember off the top of my head. But all these standards take the risk-based approach and are derived from the UK GDPR. So this means any business to be found in violation of the UK AADC will likely also be found to be non-compliant with the UK GDPR, which could be a huge issue if you're you know, worried about the fines that are implicated when um, that are involved with a violation of GDPR. The key takeaway here is really that while there are some differences between the language, a lot of the work that companies did in preparation for the UK AADC can actually be leveraged for California's ADCA. The California ADCA actually specifically refers to the UK AADC, um, and the ADCA provides California Children's Data Protection Working Group the ability to consider the guidance provided by the ICO when developing best practices or other guidance. So this can be interpreted to mean that updated privacy policies that are concise and understandable for your audience and the risk assessments that were completed, or even the default settings that were updated could help with California Age Appropriate Design Code Act compliance as well. Just be mindful, there are some codified differences like the timeline to provide DPIAs under the California ADCA. So while the UK version didn't have a specific timeline, California version actually requires companies to provide the DPIAs within five business days upon request from regulatory bodies. Uh, and one final difference then to notice between the California Age Appropriate Design Code and the UK's version is the way they approach it, some of these default assumptions. The primary one to look at is that under the United Kingdom's version, you must act in the best interest of minors. And that's an affirmative obligation that's imposed on platforms that are covered by the code. That was included in early legislative drafts of California's Age Appropriate Design Code, but was since excluded. You'll see that if you peruse the statute as passed in California, that the best interest of the minors does in, still appear in the statute, but it's a sort of affirmative defense where so, certain practices are prohibited, uh, such as tracking the geolocation of a minor, unless you can show that it's in the best interest of the minor. There are other sort of requirements set up around that, but it's important distinction in the default privacy settings that versus in the United Kingdom, you must act in the best interest of the minor as an affirmative obligation versus in California, you must meet certain requirements unless you can show it's in the best interest of the minor.